And it seems that more than half of the audience are female. However, looking around the panel, I don't see us here as we should be here. And if I can do it, you can do it, girls. Politics is a, is, a, is a tough old business, and here's a terrible, here's a, here's a secret that don't, people don't perhaps want to talk about. Luck comes into it a lot. Margaret Thatcher was in the right place at the right time in 1975 when she was elected leader of the Conservative Party, and then uh, in 1979 to be elected as Prime Minister. I mean, for me, it's quite surprising since 50% of the population are women to have only ever had one MP, but I mean, maybe, you know, maybe I can have a word with my daughter and we can see about changing that. Ooh, good question. Um, all sorts of reasons. Partly, of course, the problem that we don't have sufficient number of women in politics. I think there are some fabulous women politicians. Where a friend of mine, actually, who I think is very powerful, is Ruth Davidson, leader of the Scottish Conservative Party. Uh, she is. She challenges everybody's preconceptions about what Tory politicians are like. Very tough. Very feisty. I. I do think that there are some very strong women in politics at the moment, you know. And so I would say, within the next 20 years, we will have a female prime minister. I'd love to say it's going to be tomorrow. You can think of lots of people, lots of women politicians at the top of the pile now, not just in the Conservative Party but also in other parties. You think, yeah. Um, that person could do the job. And we've done it through positive discrimination, we've done it through all women shortlists, uh, and positively seeking to uh, change the, uh, the makeup of our uh, politics. Our politics should reflect our society in which we have at least 50% women, just over 50% of women. I want, to be, I want my country to be led by the best person for the job. If that's a woman, great.